In this video we're just going to do a little bit of an introduction to a pattern, how the whole pattern works together, the labelling, the notching, the grain lines and the cutting instructions. So I have here a pair of pants. On the front you can see we have a little fly. There's a button closure in the waistband. We have a slanted side pocket at the hip and this is all in one fabric. On the back you can see we have two different fabrics. So there's the one that's indicated by this grading and then the plain one. So the plain one is telling us that it's the same as the one on front. On the back we have a pair of pockets that are the same cut in this fabric and one leg is a contrast and one leg will be self. So moving over to our patterns we have our front leg here. Now I know this is the front leg because when I look at this pattern piece up here I can see there is only one notch. This is my crotch, this is the waist, this is the slanted opening for the hip pocket here. Then we come down, so this is the side, the outside of the pant and the inside of the pant leg extending down. So at the bottom of the pant we have the hem which is wider, has a wider hem on the bottom. Around here these lines are indicating the, the size of the seam allowance. So if you took out a measure you would see that the seam allowance around these patterns is 12 millimetres all the way around. On the hem it's 3 centimetres. This is the back, so I said this is the front and this is the back. I know this is the back because at this point here we have a double notch. So when we have two notches on a pattern piece that is indicating that it is the back. So for example on a back armhole pattern you will see two notches. On the back of the sleeve head you will see two notches. We have these two very long lines down the centre of the patterns. They are called the grain lines and that is indicating uh, the direction that you place the pattern on the fabric. So we can see that this line runs parallel with the selvage of the fabric when you're cutting it out. Here on the back of the pant we have some drill holes. The drill holes are made using your stiletto poking through and they have to poke all the way through so that when you're transferring this information to the fabric or to another pattern you can use your pen, your chalk or a pin or the stiletto to transfer that drill hole through the pattern. These drill holes here mark the position of the patch pocket and this drill hole marks the end of the dart. The dart on this pattern at the back is giving a little bit more shaping around the back, around the back area from the waist down to the hip. Moving over here we have the pocket patterns. So this is the pocket bag that sits and the pocket lining. They sit like this on the front of the pant over here. You can see that with this seam allowance here it's much smaller than the others. So this seam allowance along this pocket bag opening is 6 millimetres. So we need, we need to use notching and lines on our patterns to indicate what the seam allowance will be. Our pocket bag, our pocket bag and our pocket facing, they both have the grain line transferred from the front of the pattern piece. Here we have the patch pocket. As I said, this is the drill hole to mark the position of the patch pocket when you're sewing it onto the back. We have a two centimetre hem around the top. Again, this is marked by the notches each side here and then six millimetres, sorry, 12 millimetres all the way around here. We have our fly facing. So for the centre front here, we have our fly facing and our fly extension or fly. Here we have our three curved waistband pieces. This one here is the back waistband, it's cut all in one. And then we have a right front waistband and a left front waistband. Coming back to our picture, 
when we see the waistband here, the left front we know has to extend underneath the right front to allow for the button to be stitched to something. And then so this side will have our buttonhole and then this side will have the button so that you do it up like that once you've constructed your fly facing. A little comment now about the cutting instructions. It's incredibly important that you have the correct cutting instructions on your patterns so that you don't make mistakes in production and that other people don't make mistakes in production. This can cost you as an individual or the company that you're working for a lot of money and it's also a lot of waste. So here we have, you'll see the cutting instructions are circled on each of the pattern pieces and this is to make sure that they stand out from the other labelling on the patterns cutting instructions are circled on all of the pieces. When I am cutting in the main fabric, which is this fabric here, we call it self. You can label it self or main, that's fine. So I've labelled that in black. So our pocket bag is here and this is cut one per self. Our pocket facing, which is sitting behind this stitching line here, we're cutting in lining, so I've labelled that in green, cut one pair lining. When we come to the back, we've got the pocket and we have cut one pair contrast. And the back leg, it's a little bit tricky. We have cut one self, WSU. WSU stands for wrong side up. So when we're cutting this, we flip, we have the right side of the fabric facing up. We flip this over and we cut that leg wrong side up on this self or this main fabric. And then when we want to cut the contrast, we place it on the other fabric and we cut one contrast right side up, RSU. RSU and WSU are particularly important labelling when you're cutting an asymmetrical pattern piece that is cut one. So for example, our fly facing is cut one self RSU wrong side up. The other thing that you'll notice with the labelling is the red that we've used. The red is to indicate the block fusing. So we have block fusing on our fly or fly extension, on our fly facing, on our waistbands, on the front, uh, sorry, the back and the two fronts. It says plus, plus block fuse, plus block fuse. That means that the cutter can't make the mistake of accidentally cutting them out because they didn't see plus block fusing. The block fusing is in red for that reason to make it jump out. There's a lot of information in the labelling of the pattern pieces here. We have every pattern piece will have six pieces of information. So you start with the name. So this is either your name as a pattern maker or a designer in production in the professional world that might be the name of the company and the season. Here we have the pant which is the name of the overall garment. You might have a more interesting descriptor, it might be pant with asymmetrical cuffs, whatever makes sense to describe your garment. Here this is the pattern piece, so this one is the pocket bag and you need to make sure, sorry, with the pocket bag labelling that it's not labelled the same as this one. So this is pocket facing, this is pocket bag. Each of your pattern pieces needs to have a different name. Here we have the size of the garment, so this is a sample size 10, and the cutting instruction, cut one pair self, and the last bit of information is the numbering. Now this is to make sure that you know how many pattern pieces are included in your pattern. So this pattern has 10 pieces, and this is the third piece. The order that you number the pieces is not so important. The most important thing is that you have numbered them so that when you're in a really busy workspace where the pattern pieces are going everywhere, you're not going to lose any of your pattern pieces when you pack it away at the end of the day because you know how many pieces should be hanging on your pattern hook. The last thing I'd like to talk a little bit about is the notching. So the notching, again, we're using the notches here and we use notches to indicate the seam allowance around here. 
On this pocket bag, we have another notch sitting down here. This is not indicating seam allowance. This is helping the machinist or the sewer to construct the garment because this is a curved line and that notch is making sure that you're not accidentally stretching one or other of these pieces as you're sewing them together. When we look down at the leg of the pant, we have notches on the leg down here and they serve the same function. So they will prevent the machinist from sewing the wrong piece together because they have the seam allowance, the same seam allowance, although they might look similar. Sometimes people, you will find in this course, you will occasionally sew the wrong pieces together. So use your notching to help you make sure that you're not sewing the wrong pieces together and that will save you time. The other thing, as I mentioned, that notching indicates is the front and the back of the garment. So we have double notching here on the back crotch and then a single notch on the front crotch over here. When you're notching for your seam allowance, you notch around in a clockwise order. So for example, this side seam down here, I have a notch at the top, which means I don't need a notch on the bottom. I have a notch here on this seam and this seam flows around up to here. So I don't need I don't need a notch on the other end of this seam because I have it down there. Instead, I have a notch running across that waist. So you are starting here, you have one notch there for this seam, one notch for that seam, one notch for that seam. So you'll work your pattern pieces around like that when you're notching them. You also need to make sure when you're notching that you do not double notch a corner. So if I placed a notch here and a notch here, that would make this little bit of paper very weak. It would likely tear off. The same thing for when you're cutting a notch in the fabric. You don't want to weaken the fabric by um, having two notches that are too close to each other. The other thing with too many notches is that in production, everything that you have on your pattern costs money to transfer to cutting and sewing. So if you have more notches, it takes cost more money to cut it out. So you don't need more than one notch per seam and those balanced notches to help you construct the garment. Mm -hmm.